Imagine building a greenhouse and not knowing all the different types of greenhouses that were available. What if you built the wrong one? What if a greenhouse type you've never heard of could cost you less to build, use less heating and cooling energy to run, and let you grow more plants in the same amount of space, making you more money? After watching this video, you're gonna know which greenhouse you need to build for your area and your business that'll grow you the most amount of plants, making you the most amount of cash. Simple Tech, that's the name of this channel. And we have piles of other videos on growing and greenhouse technology that you can check out after watching this video just by hitting that free subscribe button. There's an endless amount of designs one could use for a greenhouse. I'm gonna go over nine of the top greenhouse builds in this video. But if you're aware of any other good designs, please post it in the comments below. Technology is always advancing and we learn from each other. Let's get started going over nine of the most common greenhouse builds and discuss some pros and cons of each type. The most simple and most common greenhouse design is the Quonset, high tunnel, or also referred to as the round arch greenhouse. You can build the arches with any of a number of materials, wood, steel, PVC, just to name a few. The basic design is to bend the material and stretch a plastic over the top, allowing light to come in everywhere. You can go single layer or double with using an air inflation fan as the most common double layer device for high tunnels. Of course, you can build a simple high tunnel or a fancy four season Quonset. That's up to you. Many have roll up sides to aid in ventilation. The downfall is some arches aren't very strong and snow loads can crush the frame and the round arches make using glass or hard panel polycarbonate difficult and expensive. But if you're okay with just covering your greenhouse with plastic sheets, this type of structure is common, cheap and very functional for growing. The Gothic Arch greenhouse design is what can be referred to as a type of Quonset greenhouse with a better roof, specifically a roof designed for shedding snow in the winter. I know, you hear Gothic and you think Batman and Gotham City. Let me be clear here, it's not Batman's greenhouse. Commissioner Gordon isn't going to come for you if you buy a round hoop house instead. A Gothic Arch greenhouse is just a hoop house that has a peak that allows for a sharper roof angle using gravity to advantage so less snow builds up on the roof. Most Gothic Arch greenhouses have reinforced purlins inside to help distribute snow weight better. And many Gothic Arch greenhouses also have center support poles for further aid in weight distribution. Seen mostly in colder climates, snow is the main reason for a peak in the roof on a Gothic Arch greenhouse. I like to call it the Canadian high tunnel. Gothic Arch greenhouses can cost a little more than a round Quonset greenhouse, but in areas with high snowfalls, the Gothic Arch greenhouse is a much better and safer way to go. Lots of greenhouse supply companies market Gothic Arch greenhouses as the solution to growing in high snowfall areas. An A-frame or standard built greenhouse is basically a structure built like a normal building but with a transparent roof and walls. The frames can be built with wood or metal. Either way, construction of the frame is very similar to any standard building, but with transparent or translucent plastic, polycarbonate, or glass on the walls and roof instead of plywood. It's possible to even convert an older existing building to a greenhouse by removing the plywood walls and roof and replacing them with polycarbonate or glass sheeting. The main advantage to this type of greenhouse is structural strength. Most standard building designs and A-frame designs are strong, able to withstand high snow loads and huge winds. They're also easy to insulate and add vents to so you can control temperatures for year-round growing. Multi-span or gutter connect greenhouses is the choice of most large commercial operations. Multi-span is usually used with a Quonset, A-frame, or Gothic arch roof. The real advantage is the increased square footage under one roof with this kind of system. 
It's amazing to see some of the larger commercial operations that have connected dozens and dozens of greenhouses together, covering many acres of land under glass or plastic using this method of greenhouse building. Basically, the greenhouses are connected on the walls where the gutters would be, and still actually use gutters to shed rainwater. Most commercial installations are built strong, capable of withstanding large snow loads and huge winds and rains. The multi-span design is difficult to avoid once your greenhouse business starts to get bigger because if you need more plants, you have to have more space to grow them in. Having built a dome myself, I can speak with personal knowledge on the pros and cons of a geodesic dome greenhouse. There's many ways to build a dome using wood, metal, or PVC, and endless different types of domes that one can build. Some of the advantages to a dome are structural strength. The sum of the parts is often stronger than the material pieces alone. Domes shed wind easily and are great under snow loads. I've done a video reviewing some of the best dome builders on YouTube you can check out on the Simple Tech channel if you need more information in a lot more detail, as well as a series of videos documenting my own experience building a metal conduit dome. Domes work great for personal gardens and small commercial operations and look fantastic on your property. The dome itself can act as a point of interest in your community, bringing in more clients just to see it. A solar greenhouse is a term that's used for a greenhouse structure that has an insulated north wall and allows you to grow plants in sub-zero climates. A solar greenhouse is oriented to take advantage of the sun in northern climates in winter. There's passive and active solar greenhouses. The difference is that a passive solar greenhouse only uses the heat from the sun to keep the inside above freezing, capturing and storing that heat within the greenhouse for use at night. And an active solar greenhouse adds additional heat from a source other than the sunlight that comes into your greenhouse. The further you go north, the harder it is to properly operate a passive solar greenhouse because the further north you go, the colder it gets and the longer the winter season lasts. Solar greenhouses are currently the subject of many university studies to get more produce produced locally in northern climates. A Chinese greenhouse is basically a solar greenhouse but with an elongated transparent area. Sometimes the Chinese greenhouse design uses a roll-up tarp over top of the transparent area to increase insulation values at night. Chinese greenhouses are cheap to build, store heat in their north walls, and are in massive use throughout China today. Some of the food you eat today may have actually been grown in one of these greenhouses. A wallapini or pit greenhouse, or sometimes also referred to as a sunken greenhouse, is a greenhouse built halfway down into the ground. The purpose of digging down is to capture some of the earth's geothermal heat, thus not allowing your plants to freeze without adding additional heat. Wallapini work great so long as where you live doesn't get too cold. Besides not being able to handle really cold winters, Wallapini also have issues with reduced light by being buried in the ground. I like to think of a lean-to greenhouse as a smart solar greenhouse design. Some people might even call it a sunroom. The best way to build a lean-to greenhouse is to position one wall on the north side of a heated building, thus not just aiding in insulation, but sometimes also gaining free additional heat from the main building. There's all kinds of designs you can consider for a lean-to greenhouse, but they all have one thing in common, and that's one wall positioned against another building. There are literally endless design options for a greenhouse. Some of these pictures are other greenhouse designs people have used that are not as common as the nine greenhouse designs I've already covered. If you know of any other design, please post it in the description below.
check out my other videos on greenhouses, heating, and growing technology. SimpleTech's goal is to grow produce locally, year-round, in areas that get snow in the winter. No more chemically ripened food that tastes disgusting. Building and developing new prototype greenhouses with new heating and growing technology costs money. If you donate just a few dollars to my Patreon account, I can build more.